Microsoft unveils always connected PCs. Qualcomm announces Snapdragon 845 SoC. Airtel partners with Intex on Mera Pella smartphone initiative. It's December 6th and this is 360 Daily. Microsoft has announced the launch of the world's first always connected PC running Windows 10 on ARM-based Qualcomm SoCs. Powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 SoC and ARM architecture, the always connected laptops will offer built-in LTE connectivity as well as longer battery life compared to traditional PCs. Qualcomm has announced the Snapdragon 845 SoC, which is its next top-end mobile processor. The new chip is designed to power a range of next-generation Android flagships that will debut in 2018. Xiaomi is the first to announce a smartphone with the processor, the Mi 7, while companies like LG and Samsung can be expected to use this processor in their flagships as well next year. Windows 10 laptops that are running on the ARM architecture would also be sporting this new chip next year. Airtel has partnered with Intex to bring three of the domestic brand's smartphones under its Mera Pella smartphone initiative, which offers cashback to sweeten the purchase and lock customers onto the operator's network. Intex has also launched a new smartphone, the Intex Aqua Lions N1, while bringing its previously launched Aqua A4 and Aqua S3 under the offer's umbrella. After being publicly tested with two developer preview versions, Android 8.1 Oreo has now been released. The update, which is available for eligible Pixel and Nexus devices, will be made available over the air. Factory images and OTA files are also available for download and installation. The update also includes the December Android security patches, which comprises of over 50 fixes for Android and Google devices, with a crack WPA2 Wi-Fi vulnerability amongst those patched. A popular virtual keyboard app from Tel Aviv AI Type has leaked personal data of customers due to a server security failure. 31 million users are said to be affected. Confirmed last week, the leak was from AI Type's server that is owned by the app's co-owner, Eaton Fetusi. The keyboard app claims to have more than 40 million users globally. So that's it for this edition of 360 Daily. And for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.